Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy the holidays, Christmas, and times with your families, with your loved one, and whoever you spent Christmas with. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I wanted to do this video um, to end the year, and I wanted to share with you guys the best perfume purchases I made during 2021. I cannot count how many purchases I made during 2021 perfume per se, but these, in my opinion, are the best one. Uh, I, at least these are the one that I love the most. I wore the most during summer or, you know, spring and all these good things. So if you guys want to find out what perfume they are, please stay tuned and don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. That will mean a lot. All right, let's get started. So the first perfume, the best purchase, I think, one of the best purchase I think I made um, perfume-wise during 2021, it's this little guy right here. Um, it's Erin. It's Ibiscus Palm. I regret it that I bought a small bottle because I really, really enjoy this scent. This is a summer scent, you know, very light. And then you have your ginger and then it you have your um, lotus middle notes um you have white flowers and base of coconut milk vanilla and musk this is the secret i love vanilla and i love musk this is a very summer ish uh, if you want a, a, on the beach going on a vacation i wear it you know because i live in the south and even if it's summer sometime you know you will go outside and it's so nice out so i wear it um so one of them you know it's definitely Erin, um, it's called Ibiscus Pan. Very pleasant, easy going, and then you will get compliment. All right. The second best purchase I made during 2021, it is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. This is a designer set, and as you can see, there's a big dent. Um, that's how much I wore this perfume during summer. Again, this is another um, floral set, but it is not over too overpowering like you know flow like that gives you um very um old ish type of scent and then i think the vetiver vetiver again if you are new to my channel vetiver it's one of the scent i enjoy a lot this perfume definitely um has vetiver in it and then i love it from start to finish i love it it smells good you have your vetiver and then i can read some of the notes for you you have your amber and then um it has cannabis but i do not smell that at all you know sometimes cannabis sometimes can overpower scents and you have uh rose and carnation and stuff like that uh in this perfume but what i get it's when it dry down it's a very pleasant um floral you know rose ish um fragrance it's very enjoyable and then you you can then get a lot of compliment wearing this perfume so definitely check um flora botanica out by balenciaga very very great scent and then the third one i have for you guys it is baldafrique by byredo okay um this is my second byredo perfume and I'm not a big fan of Byredo. Um, I don't know why, because I love the two that I have. I have Biblio Bibliotech. I don't even remember the name. That's so how much I don't wear this one. But Baldafric. Okay, I don't know if the name did something to me. Uh, maybe you know. Sometimes you do buy. It's it's a thing. Sometimes you buy perfume because of the name or sometimes you buy perfume because of the bottle it is a thing and then it does something to you you end up liking your, the perfume but anyway it is um the dry down it is an amber ambery scent and then it has i think it has some musk in it too as well yes it definitely have um some some musk which i'm not surprised that i love because i love um musk and then i love amber you're gonna see type of a, a trend in my perfumes if it has amber um, and musk, vetiver, most likely, and then, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
if the perfume has any any type of orange note it doesn't matter what type it is i will like it i i, I have i've never smelled a perfume that has you know some type of orange orangey um note that i don't like mind you i have a lot of perfume that i've never smelled before but so far what i have i enjoy whatever whenever i smell a perfume that has that particular note i enjoy so again this is this can be an everyday scent at least to me um it's very likable this is not a a heavy amber scent and it's very light it's it has a, a fresh tone um whenever i smell this perfume i feel like yeah it is something yes i can literally wear um in the house um I wear my perfume. It doesn't matter how expensive they are. It doesn't matter. I wear my perfume in the house if I'm not going anywhere. Hey, it, they are okay. Wear your perfumes. Um, this is a very easy, not overpowering at all. But you can, you will smell yourself at least. Um, whenever I wear my husband will say, "Oh, you smell good," so I know you know it projects. But mind you, very close. You have to be very close to me to actually smell it. But at least when I move around, I can smell myself. So this this is one of the best purchases i made um during 2021 this is byredo by daffy Alrighty. so the other one i have this is no this is no 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 secret this is the first um review i made here on youtube this is kayali sweet diamond pink pepper 25 i love this fragrance i really do um it, uh, yeah I really do this is an amber as you can see i have i have something for amber i don't know what it is y'all I, I really don't know but if something has amber um I, I i will i will i will like it somehow um again it has um patchouli i think i think yes it, i am pretty sure it has patchouli which i also like and then it has musk and this perfume it's a very it's a Date night scent, you know, not your typical um fresh. It's not fresh. It's heavy. Um, in my opinion, it's something you can wear at night and when it's really cold. Um, it's definitely a compliment getter. I think um pink pepper, sweet diamond pink pepper. It's um Kaylee's, the one that has the longest um lasting power, in my opinion. I have three other Kealis, but I think um, Sweet Diamond and um, Invite only, but Sweet Diamond, I think it has the the the, the best um, longevity. Um, so if you want to check it out, if you like your Ember and then you like a Dead Night scent, definitely go ahead and get your nose on Kealis, Sweet Diamond, Pink Pepper. All right, so... The last one I have, it's a total, it's a complete surprise. It is the first time I ever purchase uh, a dossier um, perfume. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, you know what? Hey, YouTube, if you go on YouTube, everybody has tried dossier at one point. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead because I have um, um, Baccarat Rouge and I, I love it. But it is an expensive perfume. I was like, you know what? Let me just get something that I can wear and then still get the same vibe. The first time I wore Embery Saffron by Dossier, I had two people stop me and ask me what I was wearing. Uh, again, people had their mask on. I went to um, a store that I was close to the person. She asked me. I went to, I don't remember the store. I, I walked by someone. The lady stopped me and asked me what I was wearing. I was pleasantly surprised. I really was. Um, I think I'm going to try um, other things from them, other scents from them. Because, again, um, I don't even have to tell you. It's called Amber Saffron, okay? It has amber. I think it has oak moss in it, too. And then it, it, it's, it's, it's very 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 similar to baccarat rouge i was very impressed when i first um sprayed this perfume um again it, you have your orange blossom yes it has orange blossom of course i was gonna like it and then it has some plum and then saffron 
hence the name and then you have um fire balsam all these you know great things that when you combine it gives you um the twin the fraternal twin of baccarat rouge if that makes sense um it's a it's one of the best purchases i think i made because for the price i got them when it was on on sale like insanely cheap so i think i can definitely get some great use out of this perfume again this was dossier emberry saffron um the dupe for baccarat rouge all right guys I didn't want to stay long for this video and then you know talk your ears out as usual i'm just gonna end here and then tell everyone that subscribed to my channel during this past three months that i am grateful for you all and then thank you i started this to to have fun with my daughter she's not here with me her daddy has a few days off and she's literally glued to him yeah mm -hmm. um and she's not here with me so they're doing their own thing probably skateboarding outside or on playing basketball who knows um so i want to tell you guys that i appreciate every one of you that subscribe that like that share it on on your um instagram i appreciate you all i hope you guys have a wonderful end of the year and then may 2022 be the year that you shine thank you so much and bye